Okay, did that hit? Alex. Oh, Alex. Oh, motherfucking Clarissa. Hello, fellow thrill seekers. My name is Dex. Today we're going to continue the story of Oxenfree. You are now up to speed, so let's get right to it. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Hmm. Suspicious. So we've gotten to Adler's house and we're trying to see if the boat plan is a good escape. Damn. This is a nice way of um, presenting depth. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Silent memories? Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. 29, 18, There's 54. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Let's see some vacation slides. No? No vacation slides? Fine. We've lost Ren and Nona. Where the fuck did they go? Ah, there they are. Oh, ah, that... oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh What's plan B if we can't find it? Um the keys, they they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? Man, it's as good a guess as any. Yep. So, into the house we go. It's probably haunted as fuck. But hey, I've committed to this. Might as well see it through. Wind chimes. Like me some wind chimes. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Radio lock. No. Not what I was looking for. Uh, it's all the way on the other side of the spectrum. Sure. Whatever you say. There's some creepy sounds on that station. Nope. Can I get an amen? Is a nifty gizmo. Yep. That door sound, though. Finally. Oh, God, Jesus. I knew she was here. Like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's That's here. That's something creepy so about Clarissa. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the bo boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, I don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. There's something creepy about this, uh... Oh, a phone. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Shocker. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With... Uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. <laughs> we'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Ah, damn it! I didn't see Clarissa go in front of the window. Did she look weird or yeah, something? she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh! Okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. That bitch. Okay, anything else of interest on this floor? Not really. So the next one. Oh, Ooh, that's an attic. Shrink. Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? Uh, it's the tight yes. spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and well, I'm actually that about covers it. <laughs> Okay, what do we oh, have? The you chest. Know what? This might be the um the chest that takes that combination. Twenty-nine, eighteen, fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here tune, tune into the into source. The source. Think that means oh she shit. couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Yeah, huh. it's probably something about the ghost, too. Is this. Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. Uh, what the fuck is Ren doing? Alright, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. <laughs> Just random thank yous, sure. Okay, a bit of phasing there. Just gonna glance over that. Okay, did that hit? Alex! Oh, Alex! Oh, motherfucking Clarissa. We have something we wanna show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. No, 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 fuck you, Clarissa. I'm trying to get my friends. Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Motherfucking Clarissa, man. Motherfucking Clarissa. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blink out on me now. Nope. Everybody's fucking offline. But, um, we got a problem. The door. Ah, there you Shit, are. Shit, Jesus. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. Uh, so please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I wish I hadn't tuned into that stupid thing, okay? If I knew what it was gonna do, do you... Do you really think I would have even brought this radio? Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will, will be fine. fine. Not the really. The is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as, as your mother's, mother's apple pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. And now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, what the seven, fuck? six, five. Once they caught me for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Stop it! Come on, no! It's it's my fault. I didn't think it would The little ones up and hit the. Bring her back now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. Seriously? But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. <laughs> Other sense. 
Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. That's not harder. The other one was harder. Six. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing well. This has sort of happened before. What the fuck? Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. Do not have eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. What we the... tried too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. Can I exercise her? to the next. Please just don't do this. We're... We're not... It's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but... We have not felt anything for a very long time. And we'll do whatever is necessary. What the universal dashed on the rocks. We have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. What the fuck? Well, that could have gone better. What in the fuck is happening? I don't think I've been this confused this entire game like I am right now. Oh, there's a loopy machine. That one is uh, set up. Bum, ba, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. I think I don't think. Th Tell Michael he should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? I got a theory about that. I think she's trying to influence the decisions or whatever we said back then, to prevent Michael's death, maybe? Ah, there's another one up there. I'm still confused, damn it. So we can go on... <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. And Terrifying, look, Alex, actually. If you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, less ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, because God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, Pretty much. Great. Yeah, but... How do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. 
Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She, she knew something. I mean, yep. look around. This whole house is like a ghost hunting command center. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. Ah. <sighs> I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Yeah, like, just give us a clue. She knew about some of this stuff, at least. It sure uh, looks like it. Does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that, like, reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that... If time is infinite, and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe mm. to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... Snake handlers? Why, because they just can survive? By handling deadly snakes, is that what you're going at? Come on, everybody get into the basement. Isn't that a reassuring thought? They just had to pick Clarissa as the eviler one. It just fits so well. Because you hated Clarissa from the beginning, anyway. Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome! Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... Oh, sweet! They're learning! Boo! Okay, Bastards. all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or does whatever the radio bomb shelters help? are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It uh, says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're Damn. not doing that, right? Good question. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Of well, course it is. Better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait, this is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just, I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> Don't yeah. we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so. Well, the system works. Oh, shit. That is a long way. Uh, okay. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of... Um... All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, a lot of don't tell me, I won't want to know. <laughs> well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! It's too late, bro. We've already committed to this. Ah, 
God damn it, and we were so close to escaping. Uh, crap. This definitely won't be a pleasant journey. Just a second before going in there. Epiphany. We are going to Epiphany Fields, right? And then we're going up, up, and away. Gucci. Why is the ash? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. This has been, uh, yeah, I'm almost getting a headache from the amount of random and freaking weird stuff happening in this game. But still, I'm so goddamn curious. I need to know how it ends. And I hope you're curious as well, because I'm definitely going to play this all the way to the end. So, if you like this video, remember to click that like button. Otherwise, dislike, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you when I see you. Uh, sure, of course, the most evil of spirits would pick Clarissa as their henchman.